What up? And welcome back to Rodina. With this, this is the backwards hat guy here, and I am excited. Finally, a new version. Seems like it's been on forever. But we got version 1.1.0 just got released, and uh, I'm just gonna jump right into it. Uh, peaceful, freeform, interesting. So we got some new options, some new settings. Still have a ridiculously sensitive mouse. <laughs> so we've got he's uh, some of the new things that have been updated. We've got some an auto save that'll save. Uh, it was mentioned in the changelog that it'll auto save at important times. I don't know what that means. Maybe when you stop your ship and move your ship or something, stuff like that. I'm not quite sure what that means. Um, let's turn this way down. Probably need to turn that way down too. I don't know if they should be the same. Okay, that's better. Alright, so it looks pretty much the same. Um, yeah, so the big, big addition to the game is, um, your ship fires. So if you take damage or if you, uh, from another ship or if you kind of crash and take some damage, um, you have a chance of, uh, having a fire start, um, in your ship and you need to take care of it as fast as possible because it will spread quite quickly from what it said. And uh, if you don't take care of it, obviously your whole ship will burn up and you will explode. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that's that's one of the big changes. The other changes are just a lot of different changes in the settings. Um, so there, like a flashlight. There we go. Alright. Also, we got a fire extinguisher here. Nice, that's cool. Is any of this stuff now operational? Can I access any of this stuff? No. So, there's a lot of optimizations and stuff to help, uh, help the game run a lot smoother on uh, lower end PCs, which is, which is awesome. Um, for a lot of people, I know there's a lot of people that. Uh, had some problems with that. Um, got another uh, fire extinguisher here. So let's go ahead and see if there's anything new here. We got an urgent message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Go acquire. Okay, so let's just uh, jump right in. Where was the. Uh, here we go. Space to move up. Usually, things spawns over here. Press R. Oh, that's right. There we go. Combat speed. Oh, now. Oh, okay, I jumped the gun on the tutorial. <laughs> that's um. Okay. Not the most graceful landing <laughs> ever, but you know what? It works. So it looks like we took some damage, but um, yeah, nothing. Nothing uh, too crazy happened. No fires. Oh boy, and it is dark. Wasn't there a flashlight button? Oop. Pick up this stuff. Here we go. Oh, we got the ABC one. It's interesting. Pick this stuff up. Oh boy. Gravity. Now you can travel other asteroids, alright. 
so cool. Uh, this game is just uh, so much to think about with this game. <laughs> I just I always end up thinking just about all the potential that you could do with this. It's so cool. Let's uh pressurize it. And we'll do a remote remote piloting. There we go. Now, let's test let's test out the save system here. So it said you could hit F5. Quick saved. Okay. So let's say I'm flying, I take some damage. Bam. Oh, Stabilize here, stabilize. Whoa! Okay, the ship is very bouncy. Am I gonna get some kind of a warning that there's a fire? Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. If so, ship. Is that again? Or in space. Oh, okay. Nice. So here we go. Let's cruising speed. So there's something right here. Let's check this out. Seems to be really close by. Oh, we got a. Oh, I have missiles equipped. Oh, he's already... Yeah, that's right. Well, that's one way to waste your missiles. <laughs> Dang it. Now, is there anything on this planet? Or this asteroid, I guess. That's always a question. Ooh. And let's, uh, let's do a little quick save. Now if we hit here and we hit load, we got quit say auto hats is in trouble. Auto hats pilots ship. Yeah, so it auto saves when you pilot the ship. Auto saves when you're in trouble. Dead. That was from obviously a while ago. Um so if I crash like that. Did I get a new one? No. Where did this planet go? See, this is what I this is what I love doing with games like this. Just testing the limits. Let's see what happens. Okay. Oh. Did we get a new load? Hats is in trouble. No. No, nothing new. What the heck? Let's go find. Oh, there goes that guy. Let's go find somewhere else to go. There's another new little asteroid here. Check this one. Ooh, it's very round. Okay. Okay. I just like bounced off the ground. Bouncy. Alright, stop. That was a quick transition. So, man, I cannot wait for him. Uh, him, as I say him, I'm referring to the developer uh, of this game to add in some new features and just start going crazy with some of that stuff. There we go. I can unencrypt, I can decrypt stuff. So, uh, we're going to try to get another fire here. And, uh, oh, it tells you ship health. That's cool. 
If I can't, then uh, I'll cut away and cause we've already, you guys have already seen this, I'm sure. Um, man. How do I know I'm on fire? Come on, I just want to catch fire. <gasps> oh, man, I died. <laughs> Alright, so. Hit load. Pilot ship load. Aha! Cool. So, every time you pilot the ship, it does an autosave, which rewrites itself. That's cool. That is really, really cool. So, right before I died there. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry if you get sick. It's, I, I don't know why you bounce so weirdly. Like, why do you. Why do I bounce and turn upside down? Whoa! Let's calm down here. Oh gosh. Do I have a fire? 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 No. Alright, well, I'm gonna cut here and then we'll come back when something crazy happens. Hopefully, I'll be on fire. <laughs> Which is weird to say because normally you don't want to be on fire, but hey. When it's a new feature, you gotta check it out. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm here on another asteroid and I saw something like flaming on the surface and I'm not sure what it is. Whoa, and there's like zero gravity here. Is this... Let me see here. Sorry, squeaky chair. <laughs> this is the, another... This is an enemy ship, isn't it? Yeah. He crashed and burned. Huh. Okay, well. Because when I first got to the asteroid, it was playing the music like combat music. Wow, there is like zero gravity here. Get me back down there. This is crazy. Yeah, so it was playing the combat music, and then all of a sudden the combat music went away, and I, I was like, what the heck? So that must be what happened. Um, another interesting thing about this asteroid is I noticed that there are two different drops of uh, you know materials so I'm gonna collect those up and then we'll be right back with something else that's hopefully a little more exciting all right we're taking hits and I'm gone so let's see hats in trouble Okay, so it reloaded uh, when I first saw this guy. That is cool. That is really cool. All right, here we go. Let's battle this guy out. I need to take some hits. Let's see if I can catch on fire. Come here, bro. Oh, come on, hit me. Here we go. Come on, baby. Aha, I got him. Alright, so I took some hits. Um, but I survived. And I remembered what the light button was. Thank you. <laughs> I should remember how difficult it is to land. There we go. So let's, uh. Yeah, let's go out here. Let's light it up. How's the gravity on this planet? Oh, it's ridiculous. <laughs> oh my gosh. You just jump and then you gotta wait like 20 minutes to get come back down. Ooh, that was bright. Uh, come on, make it. Alright. Didn't seem... What is this? 
Diaconium Crystal. Use the power of the liminal drive. Now you can travel much faster. Oh, yeah. So now can I use the liminal drive? Empty barrel. I wonder what those are for. I'm sure, there's probably a reason. It's just probably not quite implemented yet. Oh, my gosh. Ah, oh, this terrain. You, If you run too quickly over a, a hump, you get airborne and you get you lose traction and then you just start flying. See what uh let me in. There we go. Let's go inside the ship. I wanna check out Let's check out the transmissions. Yeah, those are the same ones that we saw before. Two of twelve, so the idea is you collect those transmissions, you find out more of the, uh, the story, and then uh, you go from there. Um, let's check out. Hmm. Let me stand in here. Um, close it. Um, oh yeah, let's try the liminal drive. So, we've got some question marks. Ah. Oh, baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're going places. I'm heading towards this question mark right here. Okay, this question mark was a very long ways away. Oh, that is cool. Oh, shoot, don't do that. Oh, what in the world is going on here? Oh, we've got an armada, don't we? Oh, ha, ha. Are these all enemies? Look at all the all the drops though too. Holy cow. If we don't catch fire, I'm gonna be so mad. Can I just like keep going? Oof. Yeah, okay. So is there some badness I can Oof. What is this guy right here? Seems to be moving away from me. Oh. Oh, steep. Too steep. Alright, let's see if we can get into this planet. Last time I tried this, it didn't work out too well, did it? Oh boy. Screen shaking. Taking taking some damage. All right, we got this. Come on, baby. Oh, this is difficult. Aim it down. Get through this. Punch through. Come on, punch through. Entry is tricky. Consider going to the options menu setting entry difficulty to zero and turning it back after some practice. No, we got this. I can see I can see the I can see the terrain now. I think we made it. We're almost through. Almost through, we got this. Come on, my first successful trip into an atmosphere. We got this. Come on. Oh, too steep, too steep, pull up. I'm seeing, oh yes, I did it. I did it. Oh yeah. 
And it's not hurting me. Like, it's not all poisonous like last time. Oh, this is beautiful. And extremely desolate. So now that I'm down here, can I just like... Oh, you can't go into Liminal Drive. So this planet is huge. Obviously. And it feels like you're barely even moving. I'm in like the third gear. Wow. Well, let's do a little crash. Let's let's do a little quick little auto save, quick save. Let's bump into the ground here. Woo! Warning fire. Okay, here we go. Okay, I need to land. Get down to the ground. Fire! Get down! Why did I bounce so hard? Fire! Grab the extinguisher! Where's the fire? Oh, it's in the- it's in here! Oh no! So the thing with this- oh gosh! This is pretty cool. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh no. Are you serious? Did I run out of fire extinguisher? My ship's health is at zero. That can't be a good thing. Yeah, we're 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 getting we're getting we're fighting it. Um crap. Where's another extinguisher? Oh no. Okay, I already see a problem here with this fire thing. So, the idea is we want to contain it. Make sure it doesn't spread. Okay, so it works better if you spray the ground. Okay, and I'm out of fire extinguisher again. Oh! This is horrifying! Where is it? Ah! <laughs> this is terrible! Where the heck are all my fire extinguishers? Okay, that doesn't. Is it? Okay, let's. All right, we got this. We got this. I, I'm I'm feeling more confident here. So you spray the ground. Oh gosh. Gotta make sure. Yeah, I gotta get rid of the fire in here for sure. Okay, we've got it contained, kind of. Oh, it's spreading back through here. Okay, this one respawned. Nope. Oh no. Oh, why? Ah, oh, this is terrible. Ah! Wow, 
Why does my flashlight not work? Oh. So I need to... I need to fill this room up with foam. It seems like this foam sticks around for a little bit to help you contain. So we need to keep this stuff contained for a minute while I tackle this. This is crazy. You know what this needs? This needs co-op. Yes. I know it's something uh, the developer had talked about. Uh, something he's definitely interested in doing. But it's going to take definitely take some time for uh, development. Okay, so let's make sure it hasn't spread past me again. Okay, I think we're doing good now. Feeling more confident. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Alright. So we got lucky with that. Let's run back here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's make sure it's not spreading. Let's go back here. There we go. Yeah, so the trick seems to be to point it towards the ground. How did it spread over here again? Oh, you jerk. Oh, no. There was one here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Problem though too is I don't remember the actual layout of the ship. <laughs> wow, this is a lot of fire. Okay. Oh, how do I get out? Oh. Okay, that can't be good. Oh, this is crazy. Sorry, this is going to be like a really long video. But, it's worth it. I will defeat this fire. Okay. Why the heck is a fire extinguisher? Ah. You'd think you would just have like Tons of fire extinguishers, right? Yeah, see, the problem is, if you miss one little one little spot of fire, then it's just gonna grow on you. All this, oh my gosh. So I'm thinking one of the better strategies is probably to do a new, you know, modify your ship uh, layout into a much simpler layout. And now I don't know where to get a uh, extinguisher. Again, you would think you would just put them everywhere. Let's fill this room with foam. Is there a door here? Okay. Again. 
fill this room with foam. And this spread again. Oh my gosh. Stop it. All right. That's going to do it for uh, today's episode. Um, this is not going to end well. It's going to take me forever. But yeah, so that's going to do it for today. Um, if you play Rodina, don't ever get a fire. Because it is impossible to put it out. Alright, we got... I think we got a handle on it. Kind of. Yeah, so, uh, thanks for watching. And, uh, I'll do another video here soon uh, on this to explore a little bit more and see if we can figure out a better ship layout uh, that'll be easier to put the fires out. And, uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. See you next time.